Hey, this is Chris. Hope you're doing well and welcome to Popcorn Finance, the show where we discuss finance and about the time it takes to make a bag of popcorn. Figure before we end this year, I got to at least answer one more question. And to help me answer this question, I'm very grateful to have joining me here today, the one and only financial hype woman, Berna Annette. I do love to be on the show. I'm very honored to be here. No, I appreciate you taking the time. It's, we're recording this in December. We all know nobody wants to do anything in December. So nobody. thank you for taking some time out of your, uh, your day to come join me. Oh, this is the joy of my, my December Friday. You know, December Fridays are fake. We just spent like 45 yeah. minutes talking about that. So this is the most real thing I'll do today. And then I'll just float into, you know, fake productivity as we yeah. do on a Friday in December. I'm sure whoever's listening to this right now is being fake productive <laughs> as, we, as we speak. So we we are, we're all you. with you. Yes. Thank you. So the question I got, it came in from Derek. He's in South Carolina and he got a, uh, a Christmas bonus and he wants to know what to do with it. So this is what he said. I love listening to your podcast and I'm asking for your help. I just received my Christmas bonus. It was $1,100. Should I use this to pay off my credit card, put it in savings or, and he just put dot, dot, dot. So, you know, maybe there's something else we got a, <laughs> we got a suggestion for him to do with this money. Uh, just wondering what you would do. Keep talking finances so common people like me can understand. Thank you. So Derek, thank you so much. Appreciate you sending in that question. And I mean, this is always a great problem to have, right? Bernard, like you get money unexpectedly and now you need to decide what do you do with it? And so I want to know for you, just personally, what do you do? Like if you have some money that came in and you didn't expect it and it's just extra, what do you typically like to do with that extra money that comes in? Oh, that's a great question. First of all, shout out to you, Derek, the money gods smile down upon you. We love surprise money. And I think it's really important that he's stopped to write down this question and wait for a, se a professional or at least semi-professional answer, because I think a lot of us out there, me included, often just get really excited about extra money. And this, in the spirit of, you know, girl math, boy math, holiday <laughs> math, extra money tends to feel like no rules money. Mm, and yeah. so I just want to, I want to give a shout out to Derek to, for taking a beat, taking a breath and being like, these dollars are just as serious as any other dollars <laughs> that I earn. Uh, because it's really easy to go off the deep end and be like, I didn't have the money yesterday. Might as well not have it now and do something <laughs> cray cray. So when I get money, because I am now a financial educator, I've, I've gotten somewhat of a leash around that voice. That's like, it doesn't count. Spend it on whatever. And I'm like, Hey girl, chill out you know you have goals. So in an ideal space, and I don't know if this is where Derek is at, in an ideal space, at any given moment when I receive money, I already have my financial goals in mind. Mm. And those goals change all the time, right? Right now, if I were to randomly get a Christmas bonus right now, I would look at my current financial goals as they stand. Now, mm. where my brain tends to go, especially around the holidays, the holidays is the most spendy time of the year for so many of us. Yeah. And it's the moment where I want to say from like October to January, everyone's just like closing their eyes and clenching their butt cheeks and just like <laughs> acting like their finances don't exist. And so in this moment, I would be like, is there something that I was already like, girl, how are you going to afford that? Ooh, don't look at it. <laughs> this is now a moment to unclench my butt cheeks around that thing and maybe get to January a little less in debt than I usually do. Mm. Now, I wish I could sit here and pretend that like, oh, I save up for all my holiday goals before November. I don't. And so I would be looking at what am I doing around the holidays that I already needed cash for that will make me feel a little bit more relieved? Mm. I would prioritize that because what I don't want to do is spend more on my credit cards and then end up with that debt after the holidays. Whatever I can do to avoid putting on more debt, especially credit card debt around the holidays, that's what I would put the money towards. But what about you? Oh, <sighs> got to reveal my irresponsible money habits that I yeah. <laughs> sometimes have. This is uh, a safe space. You know, we all have this like ideal version of ourselves in our head. So sometimes I'll get some extra money. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to put that in my savings. I'm mm -hmm. going to put that in my retirement account. Sure. Then I end up just spending some extra money on something else. I was going to, I knew I was going to buy, I was going to go on this trip. I was going to go out to eat. I was going to do these things already. Mm -hmm. And I could have just used that money instead of lying to myself and saying yeah. that, oh yeah, I'm going to put this to the side because mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to pull it from somewhere else. Yes. So I think it is so important. Like you said, like know yourself, mm -hmm. know what you have coming up, know what you want to do, mm -hmm. and then be okay with using some of this money, especially a bonus. I think bonus money should be guilt-free money. 
Yes. You should not beat yourself up about being the perfect, responsible person with this money. Yes, absolutely. I totally agree. It's funny because you and I are both, we've been financial educators for a while, right? And then even in my book, I talk about like, oh, here's what you can do with bonus money. I'm much more disciplined in the book than I am in this moment, probably mm. because it is December and it is a Friday and it's the afternoon. <laughs> and I'm like, let do, 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 do. There are, I think I, my ideal answer for Derek would be to give him options, right? You could, if you wanted to, do a good old standard 50, 30, 20 type of situation mm. and be very responsible. This is, not, I'm not holding anybody to this, but this is <laughs> an option. And if Derek, you are stronger willed than me and Chris, maybe you would do this. Look at that chunk of money as if it was like any other paycheck and do the sort of usual budgeting steps around it, right? Maybe you put 50% of that towards your adulting, quote unquote, your needs, bills, things like that, getting ahead of bills, put 30% of it towards your financial goals, 20% of it towards, oh no, 20% of it towards your financial goals, 30% of it towards the fun. You know, like kind of piece it up as if you just got a paycheck and you're being responsible. Also a good option. I'm saying what the, the good thing is to give each other options and you pick what feels good for you. And I think both you and I, Chris, are living in this potentially more realistic for us space of like, I'm pissing out money anyway right now. Yeah, I am just, just flying out of my bank account, left flying. and right. Exactly, with bells on. And it's like, <laughs> the thing about the holidays is you spend and everyone's so psyched to take your money and to spend with you. Oh yeah. So this kind of surprise money, it would, it would have to, for me, it would be cushioning the fall of the holidays. I think it's important for Derek or any Derek's to choose what is going to give them the most peace emotionally. Okay. And the one caveat I'll add to this, like my one exception, right? He said, he, he mentioned in there, um, should he pay off his credit card? Now, I, if you're dealing with like a good amount of credit card debt right now, or maybe this is 1100 could pay it all off. I would even say, you know, look, the, clearly the super responsible thing would be to, to put it all towards your credit card because, you know, high interest, interest rates are high. You're probably mm -hmm. paying a lot of interest on this. So go ahead and knock that out. But I would say just because I, I want to be kind to you during the holidays, I would say keep some for yourself for something fun. Like I don't it's a bonus. Don't yes. put it all. You don't have to be the most responsible person in the world and put it all towards your debt. You can set a little something on the side for yourself to, to have some fun with. I don't know. What do you what do you think? I totally, totally agree. I think. If you were to ask me this question though, in like 2016, 2015, when I was like hell bent mm. on paying down my credit card bills uh, to absolutely zero and then, you know, getting an emergency savings and all that stuff, I would have maybe listened to this episode and been like, you know what's gonna give me the most emotional peace is putting that entire thing towards this goal that I am singularly focused on. And that's good. I think though, like you said, I would still go back to 2016 meet and be like, okay, but like, damn girl, $20 on a burrito. Like, it's okay. Yeah, it's not gonna hurt you. You're gonna be okay still. It's not gonna hurt you. Berna, I did the exact same thing. Like I was mm -hmm. having no fun. I was keeping pretty much nothing. Like none of the money that I was making was going towards me having a good time. It was right. all going towards my debt. Cause I was, like you said, I was beating myself up because I got myself in this debt and now I'm, I'm buried in it. And I felt like, I felt this overwhelming guilt of not doing the responsible thing. Like you already had fun, clearly you had too much fun. So now it's time mm -hmm. for you to be responsible. And mm -hmm. it's hard, and I would also, if I can go back in time, I would go I would travel back in time and tell myself like, just relax, man. Like, yes. yeah, maybe it'll take you an extra two months, but just, just please go do something nice for yourself. Like one small thing, it doesn't have to be like this. Yep, I totally agree because you'll look back and I can you know, it's as, as the poet and scholar Miley Cyrus says, it is the climb. <laughs> it's about the journey. It's, I don't, really see a lot of the, maybe I'm just very like hedonistic. I love pleasure, but like, I don't really see the entire point of becoming financially knowledgeable and fit and free. If you're spending all of your time being super disciplined and like holding your breath until one day you achieve this thing, then you can have fun. That is, that is the road to burnout for sure. Many, yes. many financial educators and experts will agree that like burnout does not make anything worth it. You need a little. So I think, Sliver off a chunk, Derek. Sliver off a little baby chunk at least for something that you might enjoy. That's even like holiday themed, just so you don't mm. feel the total FOMO because of your financial goals. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Burn on this, Derek. This is judgment free episode mm. here. We will not judge you if you use more of this money to do something fun that you enjoy with during this time of year for a bonus. Because clearly you were working and they said, you did a good job. Here's some extra money. So give, give yourself a break. 
That is a good point. You got this money probably. Be, this isn't a reward. I don't know what we should be. Now I'm like, I feel passionate about it suddenly. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Don't punish yourself with money that was given to you as a gift. So Derek, lean in. Like you, you, you earned this. You do deserve it. Even more than a sliver, I would argue. Oh, there you go, Derek. There's your permission. If you need, if you start questioning it, play that part back again, <laughs> and then feel I'll good about what if you do with this. We're not, you 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 deserve it. In December, I feel like December we just let you know. Hey, look, January to November, we got other rules for you. But December, <laughs> do what you got to do. <laughs> what you got to do. This is <laughs> now. You cannot hold Friday in December versions of Chris and Berna against us when we get to January to November. Oh, yeah. We don't know who they were. I don't know yeah, who that was. Exactly. If, if we were reading this in January, we'd be like, no, put this all towards your high interest credit card debt. <laughs> because, this, because the societal season in January is shame. It is the like, oh, what have I done? <laughs> of course, you must reap. Like, you got to fix your mistakes. Maybe I'll challenge myself and maybe I challenge you, Derek, as well, to put aside a little bit of money for January to like give, give yourself a little bit of spoil then, too. Oh, I like that. Right? When Shifted everybody it. is shaming themselves in January, you're like... I don't know that life. I just bought a burrito. Sucks to suck. <laughs> like you get to breathe a little. I actually really like that because then you give you can give yourself your job gave you a bonus and you can give yourself a January bonus. Thank you. And not feel guilty about it. You know what? There we go. That's it. We got it. I figured it out. <laughs> You're welcome, Derek. Derek, DM me what you end up, you know, shenaniganing because we will support you. Yes, please. And speaking of support, Berna, how can we support you? What's going on with you? How can we connect with you? How can we support the amazing work that you, that you are doing? Because you are one of my favorite voices in the personal finance space. So what, what can we all do to, to join you, follow along and support your work? That is very lovely. Thank you, Chris. The uh, Uno reverse right back to you because I literally <laughs> listen to Popcorn Finance every week. And I know that makes you feel weird, but I do. Yeah, I don't believe it every time you tell me. No. Well, I'll send you the Spotify receipts every time. <laughs> I am on Instagram at HeyBerna. That's where like most of my shenanigans are. You can support by supporting the book that I wrote this year called Money Out Loud. You can buy the book, you can buy the audio book, and or I would love it if you bought the book from a local bookstore, especially for the holidays, because local bookstores really, really need your support on the holidays. They make the majority of their sales between like November and January. So get up in the local bookstore and or support a library check it out for free they even have the audio copies there like just if you engage with money out loud it would make me so happy if you did it locally through a bookstore or a library that's how you can support Uh, Berna, thank you so much for for joining me thank you for having me 